Rabies virus is a rapidly progressive acute viral disease of the central nervous system which ultimately leads to death. Hi, I'm Dr. Manira Rasmana, Associate Consultant in the Department of Internal Medicine at Max Super Speciality Hospital, Dehradun. The interval between a rabid animal bite towards the start of symptoms is said to be 20 to 90 days. In that period of time, it is said that the rabies virus stays close to the site of inoculation, that is close to the site of bite. The signs and symptoms of rabies are very vague, but it is said that the earliest signs are if you have numbness and tingling cessation over the hands and legs or if you have itching or pain at the site of bite. Now, if a patient comes to us, the first thing that we have to do is that we have to categorize the wound. There are three categories of wound, one, two and three. Category one means that if the dog has just licked you on an, un on an intact or unbroken skin. Category 2 is that if a dog has given you minor aberration or scratches but there was no bleeding. And category 3 is that if a dog or cat has given you multiple bite wounds with bleeding or there is contamination of the mucosa with the saliva of the dog and cat or there has been lick on an unin cat or broken skin. For all the categories, there is different management. For category 1, usually we do not need to do anything. For category 2, we have to do wound management as soon as possible as well as post-exposure prophylaxis. And category 3, we have to do wound management, give the patient tetanus vaccine, we have to give post-exposure prophylaxis as well as start rabies immunoglobulin as soon as possible. The post-exposure prophylaxis is given to category 2 and category 3 patients. Post-exposure prophylaxis consists of a regime of intramuscular dose of 5 total doses that is 0, 3, 7, 14 and 21. That means infants, age more than 60, pregnant females, lactating mothers, anyone can be given post-exposure prophylaxis. The individuals who have received a full course of pre or post exposure prophylaxis in the past now only need two doses that is 0 and 3. Pre exposure prophylaxis is usually given to professionals who are handling virus in the lab or people who handle animals in their day to day life or people who are traveling from a rabies free zone to a rabies endemic zone. In pre exposure prophylaxis, we have to give them with three doses that is 0, 7, and 21. If you are bitten by a home rodent, that is rat or squirrel, you do not need a post-exposure prophylaxis. So remember, whenever you have a lick wound or a bite wound or a scratch wound by any animal which is not a pet, then you have to visit your consulting physician and they will let you know that in which category you fall. And you also have to remember that you have to meet your consulting physician within 24 hours of the bite. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.